these again are the four thermodynamic potentials that we have discussed so far. And we have just defined them mathematically lang. Pero we haven't really discussed the physical meaning of each of these thermodynamic potentials. So let's do that. Let's begin with internal energy U. And internal energy is actually the energy that you need to create a system. Okay, create a system. So, ibig sabihin, meron kang system or let's say a collection of particles, meron siyang internal energy. Okay, the internal energy defines the system. Okay, next is enthalpy. So, we're done with internal energy. Isurod natin si enthalpy. What is the meaning physically ng enthalpy? So, si enthalpy is Cu plus v, PV, right? Ibig sabihin, it's your internal energy plus PV work. In other words, um, enthalpy is the amount of energy that you need to create a system at the same time, give it some room. Anong ibig sabihin nun? So, you have a system, the internal energy defines the system, pero if the system wants to expand, for example, or pwede rin gusto natin siyang i-compress, so, meron kang kakailanganing extra energy, which is yung PV work. So, overall, U plus PV or enthalpy is the creation of a system, the energy that you need in order for you to do that, at, as well as kapag bibigyan mo siya ng volume. Next is yung A or Helmholtz free energy, tsaka si G, yung Gibbs free energy. So, sila na lang ang natitirang potentials na kailangan natin i-define. But these two um, terms, we call this free energy terms. Okay? Or available energy na tinatawag natin. So, anong ibig sabihin ng A tsaka G? Ano yung kanilang physical meaning? And also, what's the difference between these two? So, si Helmholtz free energy, siya yung maximum work that can be obtained or needs to be supplied depending on the sign at constant temperature and pressure. Okay? Ang pinagkaiba niya sa Gibbs energy or Gibbs function is that si Gibbs, siya yung maximum work that can be obtained or needs to be supplied depending on the sign at constant temperature and volume. So, yun lang yung pinagkaiba nila. Si Helmholtz is constant temperature and pressure ano yung maximum work that can be obtained or that is available. Si Gibbs naman, at constant temperature and volume, ano yung maximum work that is available. Now, just to illustrate it more, uh, umpisahan natin kay Helmholtz free energy. So, si Helmholtz, halimbawa mayroon kang isang system. It could be a cell or a collection of gas particles, whatever. No? So, kunyari, ito yung system mo. I'm defining the system boundary. And the system is defined by the internal energy U. Okay? Remember, internal energy is um, it is a function of temperature and volume. Okay? And it's just the sum of Q and W. Ibig sabihin, si internal energy is yung energy associated with all the internal happenings in your system. Their motion their interactions, etc. So, yan yung internal energy. It defines the system. Okay? Now, yung internal energy na yan, you can think of it as an investment to create the system. Right? So, depending on how you look at it, pwedeng sabihin mo na si internal energy, kailangan mo siyang bayaran. Okay? Or, yung kabaliktaran, pwede din, yan yung, pwede mong makuha from it. Okay? However, Kung ang environment niya is at a certain temperature T, which is constant, okay, and let's say that this temperature is high enough such that it can supply some energy to the system. Okay? Pwedeng pwede siya mag-supply ng energy dun sa system kasi it's hot or it's high enough. Okay? Um, how much energy ang pwede niyang masupply? So, ang gagawin mo lang is get the entropy of the surroundings, S, and multiply mo siya ng temperature. Kasi, di ba, sa entropy, it's uh, 
per Kelvin or per unit temperature. If you multiply by the temperature, you get an energy value, right? So that energy TS can be supplied to the system. In other words, um, because meron kang T times S from the environment, you don't have to put more work okay, to create the system. So, ibig sabihin, you, ibawas mo na yung TS, okay, yan na yung available energy na pwede natin makuha. Or yan na yung babayaran mo lang, kumbaga. And yan nga yung tinatawag natin, Helmholtz Free Energy. Now, how about Gibbs Free Energy? So, let me illustrate it as well. Um, so, Gibbs Free Energy... Okay. Uh, again, let's say you have a system and the system is defined by the internal energy U. Kaso nga lang, gusto mong magkaroon ng expansion yung system na yan or pwede ring compression instead of expansion. So let's say expansion na lang. So if you want to do that, you need to have an extra work na isusupply and that is in the form of PV work. Okay? And U plus PV um, natin na uh, that's equivalent to your enthalpy. Gaya na sinabi natin na kanina, si enthalpy is the amount of energy that you need to create the system and give it some volume. Okay? Yan yung enthalpy. But, uh, ganun din, no? Let's say yung ating environment ay mayroong temperature that is high enough, multiply mo lang dun sa entropy ng environment na yon. this can be supplied to the system. Okay? So, yung babayaran mo or yung investment mo na U plus PV, hindi lahat ng iyon ay gagamitin mo kasi mayroon kang tulong na makukuha doon sa environment which is in the form of T times the entropy of the surrounding. Kaya siya yung tinatawag na available energy to do work at constant temperature and pressure. Okay? Uh, Helmholtz at constant volume yan, yung Gibbs ngayon is constant pressure. Okay? So, kumbaga para siyang ano... Uh, para siyang business no? So kunyari yung, yung U plus PV na yan okay, You want to establish a business So kailangan mo ng U Kailangan mo ng PV So sila yung parang investment mo So lumalabas parang si internal energy mo Siya yung capital To start your business okay? Now Gusto mo nga yung expand yung business mo Magtayo ka ng branch Magtayo ka ng satellite uh, Kaya kailangan mo ng additional investment PV Okay? Okay, investment for expansion. Okay, so yung combination ng U plus PV, which is our enthalpy nga, so siya yung pinaka-total investment natin na kinakailangan. Kaso nga lang, kahit na hindi ka pa nag-expand, okay, kahit wala ka pang PV, kahit hindi ka pa nag-invest additionally, basta may capital ka and nagra-run na yung business mo. Halimbawa, your business is already earning naman. So, yung earning, okay, parang yun yung TS. So, earnings natin yan. Ibig sabihin, kung gusto mong mag-expand talaga, kailangan, kinakailangan mo ng U plus PV, U being the capital, PV being the additional investment for expansion. So, yan yung babayaran mong buo dapat. Kaso nga lang, since may earnings ka na from your existing business, pwede mo siyang ibawas doon sa total. Okay? So, yan yung... U plus PV minus TS, and that is your Gibbs free energy. Again, the Gibbs free energy function is defined mathematically as U minus TS plus PV, and we all know that U plus PV is enthalpy, so G will just become H minus TS. Now, at constant temperature and pressure you can calculate the change in the Gibbs free energy as so yung G magiging delta G yung H magiging delta H minus constant temperature then you have delta S so this equation right now is what you would use in order for you to Calculate the free energy of a chemical or biochemical reaction kasi nasa constant pressure naman sila lagi. And at the same time, predict whether that reaction or process is spontaneous or favorable or hindi. 
So, ano yung mga in-expect nating sign or value ni delta G? So, if delta G, okay, if delta G is greater than 0, yan yung tinatawag nating indergonic, okay? And the process will not be favored. So, non-spontaneous siya. But if delta G is less than 0, exergonic ang tawag dyan, at spontaneous or favorable yung process. Now, the process could be a chemical reaction, a biochemical reaction, to pwedeng uh, physical processes lang like heating, cooling, expansion, etc. And if delta G is equal to 0, then nasa equilibrium yung process. Okay? Now, if you take a look at the formula, which is yung ang delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. So, you know, if we have delta H, and let's say we also have a value for delta S, okay? Tapos meron kang delta G na ikakalculate. And yung delta H mo or change in enthalpy is positive. Ibig sabihin niyan ay endothermic, right? Ngayon, kapag positive din yung entropy mo, okay, ano ang lalabas na magnitude ni delta G? So, si delta G, magpa-positive yan, okay, kapag mababa yung temperature. If you take a look at the equation. Okay, kasi pag mataas yung temperature, magne-negative yung delta G kasi positive yung delta S mo. So, negative at high temperature. But what if your reaction or your process is endothermic pero mababa naman yung entropy? Negative. So what will happen is magpapositive yung delta G mo at all temperatures if you take a look at the formula. Okay? Kasi positive si delta H, mababa si delta S, negative Negative yung sign, therefore, delta H magiging plus T delta S siya. So, positive lagi yung gives free energy. Now, pagka, kapag negative yung delta H natin, ibig sabihin exothermic, okay, nagigive off siya ng heat, pero mataas yung entropy, okay, negative yung ating uh, delta G at all temperature. So, kapag exothermic yung reaction mo, malaki ang chance na exergonic din yung process or spontaneous yung process. Pero hindi lagi. Depende siya sa temperature. Halimbawa, negative nga yung delta H mo, pero negative naman yung delta S mo. E di depende na kung ano yung magiging sign ng delta G. Negative siya at low temperature, pero positive siya at high temperature.